How can you get more of something even when you don't have it or you have very little of it? The key is appreciate it. Appreciate what you have. So if you don't have a lot of money, but you have a little bit of money, or you don't have a lot of love in your life, but you have a little bit of love, or friends, or whatever, appreciate what you have. It's actually a gift from the divine helping you, I mean, when you are aware of that, it's beautiful, because then it's a gift from the divine saying, oh, I wish I had more money, I wish I had more this. Okay, appreciate what you have, because I want to build the seed of appreciation and gratitude for this amount, and as you learn that lesson, as you build it, God, he's a divine, said, okay, you got the lesson, let me give you more now. Let me give you more, let me give you more, let me give you more. Because I know if I, you appreciate when you only have this much, you're definitely gonna appreciate when you have this much, right? And then it's, it's, the, it's the, the hero's journey, the journey of like, oh, I was here and I remember that and now I'm here and I got this much and I look back and I'm like, wow, um, I'm really grateful for that experience that I had. Because if I didn't have that experience, I wouldn't be able to appreciate what I have now. And that's the journey, that's the growth of the, of the becoming of our best self, our highest self, our elevated self, is to see where we were, remember that it was a struggle or a challenge or it was uh, an interesting time, let's say, and then you come up to a new place and you look back with appreciation and gratitude. So appreciate what you have, appreciate where you're, where you're at. Um, and by doing that, it's an energetic thing, so as you, as you become, you become in tune with it. If you're like, oh, I don't have enough, or why do I have so little? You're actually generating that as a reality for yourself. I don't have enough, I have so little. You're generating as a reality, and you're creating that as a reality. So if you say those words and you think those thoughts, you're never gonna feel like you have enough. You can 10X what you have here, but you're, if you're still thinking the same thoughts, you're gonna feel like you don't have enough. You get 100X it, you still feel like you don't have enough. That's why sometimes you see, you know, people who become millionaires or billionaires are still not happy because they weren't happy when they didn't have that money. So if you're not happy then, you're probably not gonna be happy at the highest level. Maybe have a little more sense of security, right? But the happiness level is not gonna be the same because the happiness level doesn't matter how much of the thing you have, the happiness matters how you feel about it, how you think about it. And if you can think and feel appreciation and gratitude when you have very little, you are gonna build the strongest seed for creating a massive tree a strong tree, because when you're given more, you're gonna be so appreciative of it because you've already generated that habit, that thought, that feeling, even when you didn't have it, have much of it. So then nothing on the outside really affects you. You're so grateful for everything you have around you and it multiplies and expands and you continue to still feel grateful and happy. Because that's the ultimate riches in life. It's not the things you have, it's how do you feel and how do you feel about the things you have. That's the ultimate richness in life. That's the ultimate wealth in life that's the ultimate joy in life and um you know again how many people have tons of money accomplishments success fame and they're miserable they hate they hate it right because it was never about that it's about this and you see people who don't have much at all like i remember going to panama and seeing like 20 kids living in a small village with hardly any clothing right but they were so happy i was like never seen kids that happy it's like wow not about what's out here. It's about how you feel about yourself and how you feel about what you have already. So um, go to a state of gratitude. Go to a state of gratitude. And when you live in that gratitude, everything multiplies, including the love and joy you have for yourself. And as you do that, you elevate yourself to this beautiful, beautiful spiritual place. And nothing can, I don't want to say nothing can bother you or phase you, but you're, you're coming from such a pure place that everything is like, if I get it, it's good. If I don't get it, it's all good. I'm grateful inside. And then it becomes so much easier because you're not coming from lack, you're coming from fulfill fulfillment. You're coming from a state of uh, joy and love and fulfillment and beingness when you're going to create. Okay, thanks so much. I hope that helps. Hit the subscribe, like, share with a friend, and I'll talk to you guys soon.